morning, it's Monday, 26 September. I've actually come home from work ill because I can't stop coughing, so I'm not going to be talking for long. Every time I took a breath to speak to a customer, I wanted to cough, so that's not good. Uh, so I'm going to have a sleep for a few hours before I have to put Jen up, but I'm feeling so rough. I've got a headache as well, so I'm going to take some paracetamol. And I'm just going to relax for a bit till I have to put Jen up, and then we'll see how the day goes, try and do some colouring later. Anywho, um, yeah, so it's not good at the moment, not feeling brilliant. I will see you a bit later when I've picked up Jen. Exactly. New colour in Heather oh. magazine. Whoops, there goes the other ones. Bad Girls Halloween special. By the time uh, you see this, there will be a flip up on the channel, so that's why I don't mind showing you. Wow. It'll be cool. <laughs> right, then I'll have a drink and then do some colouring. Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon. I finished work. I managed to get through this today. <coughs> I'm still coughing. <coughs> As you can tell, in a minute I've got to go get Jennifer. I've just done some filming. I've done a colour and chat and two flip throughs. So I'm going to go and put <coughs> excuse me, all this on there. Computer to get it sorted. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you when I get back with Jen. We're back home from school now, aren't we, babe? You want to go to Lego Club? They're doing an after school Lego Club, so we're going to see if we can get Jennifer in. She can do that on a Monday afternoon, which would be nice for her. Go to Granddad's. We'll go to Granddad's. When we get the car back, we'll go, okay? As soon as I've got it, we'll go. As you can hear, I'm still not feeling brilliantly, but we're just sitting here having a cuddle, aren't we? And watching telly, and you're slobbering all over me, Jen. What are you doing? You just hello to your fans. Diana. You see that, fans? Mm -mm. No, I don't want to say that. She not I'm editing together last week's weekly vlog, finally, because I had to actually cut some bits out. But normally I just put it together as one long sprite and let it go. But no, and then I'm going to start editing the rest of the stuff I need to do. So I can get that up. And then, when I'm editing the next lot, I'm going to do some colouring. Yeah. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's bedtime. My voice is getting worse. I can't see me working tomorrow. I have to see how when I wake up. Oh, Jennifer's watching on the phone. Car failed, it's MOT. Um, oh I've got nine days left on that last one, so I'll go oh. and get some. Jen, shut up. I'm talking. Uh, I need you to tone her tyres. It's not a problem. I'll go and get them on, on Thursday. And uh, the other thing my mechanic will do when he gets back from his little break. He's going away for a few days with his wife. Don't blame him. I would if I could. I cannot speak. I am currently reading. Still trying to get through Salman Rushdie. It's very beautiful writing. It just needs some concentration because there's a lot going on. And holding a good thought for Marilyn. 1926 to 1954, The Hollywood Years by Stacey Eubanks. We're still waiting for part two. Um, and part three of Icon. That should be out soon. So I'm going to read a bit of both. And then I, I want to read, I think, so I'm trying to read the books I bought this month, um, apart from the H.G. Wells, because that's next month's classic. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but obviously I haven't got a long left before I, um, before the end of the month. I just wish this would clear up, because uh, it's getting on my nerves now. Anyway, I'm going to read for a bit. I'll see you later. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I'm no better. In fact, I feel worse. I'm really wheezy today. I've just been on the phone to the doctor. Antibiotics and steroids, the usual. If it gets any worse, give them a ring back immediately. So I'm just lying in bed, colouring and watching videos. I got about two o'clock <laughs> to get some stuff from the shop I need and Pick up my script, which will be ready after two, she said. Get it filled and then pick up Jen. It's hard work. I feel terrible. It's not good at all. As you can hear, I feel rough. I'm working on this picture from Carla McGowan's Fashion Circus. It's a buddy cup with Chelsea. You'll see it when I do do my um, end of, of um, month. Overview. You never know what I have a voice about, baby. But, um, as that's Friday and we're on Wednesdays, I'm like, I've got one more picture I have to do. 
by the end of the month, and that's my Alice in Wonderland party for Coloropoly. So I'm going to finish this one, have a rest, and then this evening work on Alice. Oh, I hope you're well. Anyway, I am going to drink my hot drink and have a rest. I'll see you a bit later on today. Hello, my friends. It is Thursday morning. I'm still not well as you can tell. And I've... Uh, do I look a bit... Yeah, I am a bit upset. I've just finished watching... The Andrew Dominic film Blonde. I started watching it yesterday, I watched the first 20 minutes, turned it off because I had other things to do. And uh, the only thing I had to do was say, please don't watch it. It's horrific. I mean, it's all fiction. If you want to watch a Marilyn biopic, go watch The Untold Story. Catherine Hicks. I've heard The Secret Life of Marino is quite good, but I've not seen that one. I will have to track that down and get it um, in uh, next month. As I've, And I have posted this on Facebook and on Twitter. As a, a woman and a human being, I feel violated by what he did to her. And as a Marino fan, I am so angry. I am so upset that if he walked up to me tomorrow... I would punch him in the face. I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. In fact, I'd probably throw some petrol on him. I've never seen anything as bad as that. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cinematography was beautiful. The costumes and sets were spot on. Some costumes were used in the wrong sequence of Maron's personal items and stuff, but... You know, the recreations of some of the scenes were absolutely brilliant. Not good enough to fool a die-hard man, but Marilyn fan, but still good. And Anna's Armas could have been done so much more had she been given a decent script. She's a very good actress. I don't have a problem with her, but she's been given nothing to do apart from scream and cry through three hours and get sexually assaulted three or four times, have forced abortions performed on her when... She never even had one. It is a rumour that has spread through the years that she had many abortions. She never had one. I'm going to go and watch some real Marilyn now because I feel I need to. But I am so angry and I am so upset and this is going to last a long time. So <coughs> if you're curious, try and find a link where you don't have to watch it via Netflix so they don't get any. Which is, I, I watched it via Netflix. Um... Kudos for it, and leave leave uh, reviews later on when I feel up to it. I will be leaving reviews, and I will be leaving bad ones because I will praise the cinematography. I will praise Anna to Armis because she did the very best that she could do. And if she'd been given a really good script to play Marilyn, she would have been brilliant. She would have. But they didn't need to do that to her. She was more. She was so much more. He took all away all of her humanity, her sensitivity, her caring, her love, her joy, her triumphs. He made it all that everybody else created her. Everybody else was responsible for her triumph. All men. The man is a misogynist. A hundred percent misogynist. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not an incel because he comes across that way. I, I, I would smack him. And I don't care, I would smack him hard. I'd put him on the ground. I'd put him in hospital. Personally, I'd like to see him in his grave. I hope that the backlash he gets from this film ruins his career. I really do. He's hurt so many people over this film. Hang on. Anyway, that's it. It's very dark. I haven't got the light on because I've been asleep. It's Friday. I'm still wheezing. I'm not feeling well at all so I'm just um, in bed uh, I've been asleep I've been reading a bit I'm reading um, two books this one is called Holding a Good Thought for Marilyn it's very big it's by Stacey Eubanks and it's 1926-1954 The Hollywood Years and, and 
this book is over 500 pages long and it only goes up to 1954 so that just shows you how complex a character Marin was and if you want to read another big biography there's the Gary Vitico Rublis books icon volume 1 and 2 which again one goes to 56 and then it's 56 to 62 both books are over 500 pages long so the fact that these people can write books that are that big shows that there was a lot more to Marin's character than has been said in the past and certainly than shows in Blonde. Talking of, of that film, I am actually watching a load of reviews on TikTok and everybody hates it. Everybody's saying how bad it is. And that the only good thing was that Anna Armas did the best she could do with what material she had. And, she, and to be fair, she is a good actress. I, I, I she How are they convinced her to make this film? I, I don't know because she deserves better than that, same as Marilyn does because... She is very good, and I liked I liked her. They did a great with her look. She covered up her, her Spanish Cuban accent very very well, very well. Um, obviously, by speaking in a, the breathy voice, which Marilyn did all the time, helped. But for what she had to work with, she did a very good job. I would prefer to see her in a better film, um, one that's not so exploitative. Uh, but. Maybe I need to watch the last Bond film because she was in that, wasn't she? Yeah, so I, I'm I, I'm I'm okay. Um, I've put up a video today about how Blonde's not my Marilyn. Um, no speaking in it because I can't speak very well, as you can see, and I'm off sick from work, so I don't feel I should be doing a load of social media posts while I'm ill. Um, I might do a bit more reading in a minute. I might do a bit of colouring. I'm just out of breath. Her cat's been in bed with me all morning, curled up into my legs. She does that. She gets right under the blankets, literally, and goes down and either sleeps on my tummy or curls up into the crook of my legs. She gives me a little lick, and as if I think she feels safe down there. So she's very much my cat. She, I mean, she's like yesterday. She was with me all day, and again, she was asleep with me all morning, curled up on my tummy. And now she's sitting on the bed, curled up asleep with me. I'd show you, but it's it's too dark. You probably won't see that. Oh, there she is. You can't really see, but that's, this is her head here. And she's all curled up because uh, my my duvet is black as well because it's my Marilyn duvet, and I have to charge this up soon. I'll put it on charge in a minute. Um, yeah. So you're not going to get much of a weekly vlog while I'm suffering, but I thought I'd check in and <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Oh, she's having a having a groom now. You alright there, baby? Yes, you are. So I'm gonna go. I've got a little bit before time before I pick up Jan. I need to go out a bit earlier because I need to go to the chemist to get some bits. What time is it now? It's only one o'clock, so I've got another hour, so I'm gonna read for a bit. Um I have got a colouring page I want to try and finish, so I might have a go at that. And I'll see you later. This is Friday afternoon, Jennifer's home from school. She's been playing that she's still at school and eating her lunch because she's a bit strange that way. But it's already home time. But it's home time, yeah. So we put the TV on. I am curled up on the sofa with my dressing, fleecy dressing gown on. I've got a heated throw over me. It's not warm yet, it's warm enough. And a book because I'm feeling really cold and it's because I'm ill. I just feel rough. Oh, the prescription will be ready tomorrow, so I'll pick it up then. I'm just going to read for a little bit. So I'm on page 227 of 500 and something. So I'm just going to crack on. I'm enjoying it, but I can only read it for a little bit because my eyes are so tired. I need to charge this battery up tonight. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you later. Okay. Hello. We're doing something we haven't done for a long time. Sitting down. Shut up. We're doing a quiz with, what's their name? MB quizzes. That's it, yeah. MB quizzes. It's a music mash thing. Music mashup quiz. It's an online Zoom quiz. Yeah, so as you said, I'm still not feeling brilliant. Poor coughing as well now. Very cough. We're a load of old crocs in this house. So my next door neighbour, well, neighbour over the road said, she said I had another chest infection. She said if they were all, the horse, like, they would have shot me by now. She said she's right. <laughs> oh, I love her. <sighs> Chest hurts, but 
I'm tired, but we thought we'd give it a go. So Jennifer's sitting here watching TV, watching on the iPad. Well, fire. Ooh, my ears just popped then. I'll let you know when we get on. It probably won't be the high octane. Whoa, we're really excited because you used to. I've just had a bit of a coughing fit, so Paul had to do a bit on his own. He managed to get us up to 33rd. It's not bad. We came 35th and I still can't breathe. We're going to get Jennifer bed now. It's getting late, so she's been colouring. Look, look at her drawing. Very good, Jen. Show your drawing. Who's that for? Um, my boyfriend. What's your boyfriend's name? Harvey. Jennifer's got a boyfriend. Oh, and it's cute. Oh, bless them. Isn't they oh, lovely? Anyway, we're off to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> tired. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I've still got to charge stuff. I'm going to do it in a minute. And I am. Um, I had to sort out the washing. Very, as you can hear, I'm still very breathless. Still not right. I'll take him in meds for today, take it around lunch time and have my lunch. I don't know if it's shifting. If, I don't know. It does usually take a while to shift, so I haven't actually put the washing away. That's my job today. Uh, Paul's mum's here, so I have come up because I don't want her getting sick. Um, but that's just me. Zed's up here. Hey, baby. Hey, Zed. She is Zeddy. Zed, say hello. She loves being up here with me. Hey, babe. See, she's uh, needing the. Uh, it's my dressing gown, bless her. So I'm going to watch some YouTube and do the washing. Then I'm going to do a bit of colouring. I think the thing's set wrong, so I'll sort that out in a bit. So although I haven't been, I haven't read a book yet, I've been updating my reading journal. I do have my stats to go. I only read eight books last month. Excuse me, I'll do those in a bit. So I'm just putting in the pictures where they were missing. Um, I've got this ready, October, and I've put the two books I've already got this month in there. So I've just got to total this up. So I've started with, um, on setting up the journal for 2023 but I've also got this lovely notebook which is called Matchstick Mouse and this is a this is actually a notebook but there is a series of colouring books um, but this is a notebook and I'm going to be using this as a colouring journal so I've set it up, I've put some pictures in I'll make sure they're stuck down um, of some various colouring books I just thought I wanted to print off some books so that I could update my journal completely so I printed off a few of these as well. I need a bit more glue and I'll do that in a minute. Um, a, so I'd have enough to print and B, so I could put some in here. Now, to be fair, it took me ages to sort out my uh, printer, but it's done now. Um, so I'm going to get this ready and then I'm going to get my book and I'm going to come up to bed because I'm feeling really rough. Hello, everybody. It's me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very, very tired. Still not well, as you can tell, still coughing away. Jennifer's watching YouTube on my phone using the data because we've got no internet. Apparently it's a problem with the hub not being connected to the rest of it properly, but we've checked everything. And we can't figure out what's wrong, so we're gonna have to, well, we booked an appointment, but they can't figure out till Friday, which is no good, because we both work from home. At the worst, if I, I'm, obviously I'm not going back to work just yet, because I'm not well enough. But if, if Wednesday I need to go back, I'll have to work from Mum's. Um, to go to Mum's and work from there. Oh, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, yeah. So, we got no internet, so Jennifer's watching on my phone, using up my data. I do have 40 gig a month, so it's not too bad. I believe she won't use it all up. I'm sitting here uh, colouring some Halloween pictures, because why not? I finished the Stacey Eubanks book and I'm now ploughing through this. I'm really enjoying it, it's really good. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to read a chunk and then I'll colour a bit more then I'll read a chunk. Um, just so tired. Oh, yeah, I really finished my course of antibiotics and my course of steroids. Um, and it is shifting but I don't feel a hell of a lot better. I might need some more, I'll have to wait and see what happens. 
yeah, I just don't know what happened. The internet was fine last night because I got the Wi-Fi working on the printer because that had not been working. Uh, Paul was down here and he came up, switched everything off, and this morning I came down to upload a video to YouTube and nothing. So who knows when this will be going up. Hopefully, if it comes to it, I'll take it down to Mum's and upload stuff from there. I just got to connect to their internet, which isn't brilliant, but I'll have to do if I'm working from there. But of course, at the moment, I haven't got the car. Carl has got the car. At least it's not raining, so hopefully he's working on it. Bless him. Um, and I'm not fit enough to walk to Mum's. Smile. I said I'm not fit enough, I mean, with my chest. So I'm going to carry on colouring and I'll keep you updated as to what's happening because Paul's gone shopping, his mum's taking him shopping, which is really nice of her. And hopefully he'll ring Virgin Media when he gets back and say, look, we work from home, we need our internet, we cannot wait till Friday for somebody to come out. So hopefully they can then move move it forward a bit. Yeah, I don't know. So if not, I mean, I said I could go and work at mum's if necessary, but uh, I have to see how I feel with my chest. Oh, excuse me, it's terrible. Right, I'm going to finish colouring this picture and I'll see you in a bit. So it's Sunday night, oh, excuse the scream, it's just Jennifer. And I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted. I'm so full of chesty cough, out of breath, exhausted. It's been a hell of a week, as you know. And you've seen how I've been suffering. And we'll see how it goes next week. I'm hoping to go back to work Wednesday. And fingers crossed that I, I can, yeah, I can sell it for a week and that's what I'm doing. But I will have to see how I am Wednesday morning. At least Wednesday morning I work from home anyway, so. <sighs> this must be the most boring week of vlogging for you, for you guys because I just haven't done anything because I've been so ill. So I do apologise for that. Hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. My car's with the mechanic again. He picked it up yesterday, I think I told you. So fingers crossed. Um, I've done two colouring pages today and I've, I've read a good chunk of Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie and I'm really enjoying it. Um, when, I, when I dry my hair, I work my way through this big chunky Jack the Ripper compendium by um, compiled by Otto Penzler of the Mysterious Bookshop in New York. And it's enjoyable, but it's huge. But, so I only read it when I'm drying my hair. I sit up here and dry my hair and read a few pages. So I'm going to take my medication, lie down, go to sleep in a minute. I might read a little bit if I can, but... The thing with Midnight's Children is it's quite a dense book. Not, you know, it's full of colour and light and dark and prose and it's so beautifully written that you do need to concentrate and I am thoroughly enjoying it. It's very highbrow for me. I mean, I, I am a non-fiction person. Oh, here's trouble. Come on then. You can watch it for a little bit. All right. She's trouble. This girl is trouble. Come here. Come up here. Say hello to your fans. She's got a Spider-Man pyjamas on, haven't you? It's your turn. Come around here. Hello. It's your turn. I can't see you. There you go, Spider-Man. Look at my shorts. Yeah, she's got a baddie knee. Should I show your knee? Which one did you wear? Uh, that one, wasn't it? Come here, where is it? Is it this one? Uh, I can't see, Jen. Turn around, this one. As you can see, let me put it on there like this. So I can actually see it. She fell over her scooter yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, I want to see yours. I haven't got any baddies. I don't fall over things. My baddie's in my chest. So you can't see it. So yeah, so we've ordered her some knee pads. And arm pads. And wrist pads. And they should be coming tomorrow. Careful. No, you haven't got a helmet yet. You will get a helmet soon now. Well, so that's it. Wait, say no. bye bye. Bye bye. When when they have a pale thing? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we start again. How much is for? Hey everybody, it's Monday the 3rd of October and it's the start of a new week. This is the weekly vlog. So I'm actually feeling a bit better today. I don't know if you can hear my voice is coming back. 
I'm still coughing, I'm still breathless, but this is the first day where I felt relatively better. Coughing is still really hurting. It's very, very painful when I cough, just simply because that my muscles have been pulled so much by the cough in the last two weeks that it's just very, very bad. So I'm just sitting here doing last week's weekly vlog so I can get it up because our internet came back on yesterday. Hooray. And I've got to go and get Jennifer later. So and I haven't got the car, so I'll be walking down. So it's going to take me a good while to get down there and back because of my my breathing. But that's okay. I've got to, I've, I need to go down a bit earlier because I need to pop to the shop first. Get some money out. And uh, I said to Jennifer, because we're walking home, we can go to Greg's and, and get a donut or something. Something nice. A treat. Um... The car is still with Carl. He's, he's, it was slightly more, it was slightly worse than they thought, um, but he is still working on it, so it's fine. I, I, the first day I would really need it would be Thursday, but if it's not back, I can work from home. It's not a problem. Um, oh, here we go. I am still reading Midnight's Children. I'm about halfway through it, just over halfway through now, um, by Salman Rushdie. I am really enjoying it. It is very beautifully written. His, in this, there's humour, humanity, there's obviously magical realism it's it's disjointed in a way because it's a person telling their life story and life is disjointed so I might tell you about a story that happened to me when I was seven and then jumped up back to when I was three so that doesn't bother me in fact it makes it more real oh they're drilling next door that is nearly finished she will be back soon it looks amazing um yeah, two weeks she'll be back in. They're just doing her kitchen now and finishing off the decoration. No, bathroom, sorry, her kitchen's done. Uh, we're waiting on our builder, so I said to Paul, send him a message or contact him soon about when he's going to come start our kitchen, because I'd like to know so we can make plans. Our kitchen, our bathroom. See, I'm not with it. I am so not with it still, but I, I am getting there, which is good. I am planning a few TikToks uh, for my Marilyn account that are not blonde related, so that's all done and dusted with. I'm not even thinking about that anymore. And, um, well, I am, obviously, but I'm not I'm not going to spend any more time on it at the moment. I've got more important things to do. Um, there's so much that I want to say about Marilyn and things that relate to her. I will be doing a series called Who Is or Who Was This Person? And then we'll do a little deep dive into them as much as we can. So there'll be Robert Slater, Eunice Murray, Lee Strasberg, and so on. Um... And a young girl called Darby Winters, who is going to be the first one. I'm just uh, getting that ready now. And I'll try and put that up in the next day or so. I'll try and put some makeup on, look a bit human. I'm one of those people I don't put makeup on. I have to put makeup on on screen. As you know, I'm not wearing it now. I like to. I like to look nice, but the content is more important than how I look. Right, so that's that. I am um, just coming back over here into the main living room. Well, that uh, hopefully edits together and doesn't take forever. As you can see, can you see where I am? That's the top bit is what's left. Still quite a chunk. It's over 500, it's 586, seven pages long. And I'm on page 317. So it's still over 200 pages to go. But I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it very, very much. And more than I thought. I was, I've never read Salman Rushdie because I always felt that I would find him very highbrow yes difficult to read not really um and i didn't think i would enjoy the writing but i absolutely am will i be reading more salman rushdie in the future absolutely will i be reading salman rushdie again this year probably not because i've got so many books to read and i am not on a book buying ban but i am cutting right back i do have i think something like 60 quids worth of waterston vouchers left i'm not sure 60 something like that anyway yeah just over 60 quid so if i want anything i will be getting it from waterstone so for instance i've got to buy november's classic and november stephen king and i will try and get them from waterstone using my vouchers so it's not actually costing me anything because i already have the money which is great and if i survive at my job because i'm ill all the time and i make another long long service ward i think the next one is at 15 years so it's only five years away i will just have waterstone vouchers i'm going to keep it all for myself um however if we get a bonus, because sometimes we get a bonus in March, the end of March, beginning of April. If we get a bonus then, I will be putting it in my car fund. At least the majority of it. I might keep a little bit for books, but uh, we'll see how I'm getting through my uh, TBR. Obviously, Christmas is coming. I'm going to get books for that. I'm going to get colouring books for that. I don't need to buy any. I'm trying. I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy anything, because I will if I want something really badly enough. But I want to buy some foam curlers to try curling my hair, vintage style and a hairnet because I will sleep in it 
Um, and I need a tail comb, so I'll have a look for one of those in a minute. I did used to have one. Um, just to try it. Just have a go. I used to sleep in curlers when I was younger, but I never had the patience to do all the separation. But I'm going to try and do it properly. Anyway, I'm going to go and need the bathroom, and I've been yakking at you for five and a half minutes. So I will see you a bit later when I've got Jennifer. Now it's Monday night and I haven't vlogged at all this afternoon because, well, basically me and Jennifer just sat on the sofa when I finally got back. Um, she fell asleep not long after five and she's in her own room, so I've got the bed to myself at the moment. Paul's gone in the spare room because I'm still poorly. Although I am feeling much better, I might go back to work tomorrow. Still haven't got a car, so Paul will walk her down and I'll pick her up. So what I thought I'd do is do a bit of reading vlog. I am still reading Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I'm on page 375. There's about 586. So I'm going to see how much of it I can read in the next hour. So it's 20 past 8 now. Uh, so I'm going to set the timer and I'll let you know how many pages I get rid of it. It's, it's quite, a, quite complicated reading. So it takes longer than, say, reading Peace James, which will be one of the books I'll be reading shortly, hopefully. But I'll see you in an hour. Okay, so I've read for an hour, and as you can probably tell, Jennifer's in here with me. And she's watching something. And I had to put earplugs in because I can't concentrate. And I read from 3.75 to 4.31. So what's that, 50 pages? That's not a lot, but it is a very deep book, and it's very, very complicated writing. So if I was reading something like Peter James, I probably read 100 or so pages. But I'm quite happy with that. I'm actually going to carry on reading this, but like I said... Peter James is next on my list. I've got a good big stack of books down there with two rereads on it and a load of new stuff. And I think I'm going to go with Peter James next. I need something, well, it's going to be a sort of like a crime mystery thing, but a little bit more easy to read than uh, Midnight's Children. But uh, like I said, I'm on page 430, 31 now. I've got another 100 and 55 pages to go. So I'm not going to read it all tonight, but I'm going to read a little bit more before I go to sleep. And I will let you know how I'm getting on in the morning. Bye. Good morning, it's just gone about ten past eight in the morning. I am in agony, my chest is killing me. I was hoping to go back to work today, but I just, I can't. I'm still, it's still crackly on my chest a bit. I'm still coughing a lot and it's very painful. Um, last night I read up to page 484 in the end, which seems to be about 100 pages of Midnight's Children left. I'm going to try and finish that this morning. Uh, but I'm probably going to go to sleep. I've got phone work as soon as I can. But I'm feeling very weak. And I can see me having to go back to the doctors tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, it's still, it's still, it's still crackly. You feel it when I breathe out. So it's just not shifting as it should. It's better. It's a lot better. But it's not right and I feel terrible. I'm fed up of it. I want to be back at work. I do love my job. So I hate being off. But I, I know the last time it was like this, I ended up in hospital. And I'm not risking it. because I don't want to leave Jen. So I'm just going to drink a cup of tea, phone work, and we'll see how it goes. I'll check in with you later when I finish uh, Midnight's Children. Hello, everybody. It's gone. Ten past one. I've had a bit of a sleep and I've finished the book, so... I had a good sleep and then I thought I'll finish this off because I only had like 80 pages to go. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's really deep, really, there's a lot of humour, a lot of pathos. It, it was very, very good. I really, really enjoyed that. It's a good four stars from me. Anyway, I'm going to read, if I can find it, let's have a look what we got, we got lots of books. Oh, where's Peter James? That's the next one. Peter James's new book, Pitchy Dead. Which of course is a Roy Grace one. So I'm just going to update my reading journal and then I'm going to get some lunch and start reading Peter James before I have to get dressed and walk down and get Jennifer. I'm looking forward to this one. Well that's a nice warm light, isn't it? So it's, it's Tuesday evening, I'm still wheezing like there's no tomorrow, it's, it's just not shifting. I'm going to have to ring the doctor tomorrow and get some more medication I think because while I could probably plough through it, I've done that before, and in the past, when I've done that, I've ended up in hospital, and I'm not willing to do it. Jennifer fell asleep on the sofa, and now she's woken up again. I am now reading Peter James. 
and I'm on page 167 already, which is chapter 38. They are short chapters. But this is being read a lot quicker than the um, Salman Rushdie, which took two and a half weeks because of the depth of it. So it's nice to read something quick as well. <sighs> I'm going to read after, but I'm going to carry on with this and I'll see you later or in the morning. Hello, everybody. I have not actually vlogged today. I forgot. Um, so I found the doctor and I went in to see him. He put me on, they put me on my nebulizer uh, to see if they could clear it up and it has cleared it up a bit, but not enough. So he's given me some more steroids, which I've taken. I've got to take six puffs of Ventolin every four hours. And I've got to see him tomorrow. And if he's still not happy tomorrow, I'll have to go into hospital. Yeah, not good. But it has to be done. If I have to do it, I have to do it. So I'll keep you posted. So what have I been doing today? Well, I've done a bit of colouring, but I read this book, Mortal Monarchs, 1000 Years of Royal Deaths by Dr. Susie Edge. She is a TikToker, and you can find her under the name Susie Edge. Very, very good. It's gruesome, it's interesting and informative, and it's humorous. And I really enjoyed this one. So obviously I'll do a full wrap up hopefully next month I haven't done this month's wrap up because I'm too ill so it depends on what happens tomorrow anyway I better get back and get Jennifer ready for bed and I'll see you in a minute good morning my friends how are you I am here it's a little bit breathless but I've just had a shower in case I have to go to the hospital later be poked and prodded and annoyed um I'm not wheezing at the moment I had a very good night's sleep took my last doses of Ventolin at midnight-ish. I thought I'm not waking up at four o'clock to do it. Even though I did wake up at four o'clock, I didn't do it. I did it at six when I got up. My time is set to do it again. And I'm not wheezing as much. But it's up to the doctor. What he says goes today. And if he says I have to go to the hospital, I have to go to the hospital. I don't want to. I'm still breathless, but I don't feel the wheeze on my chest as much as I did. It, it, we'll have to see. It's up to him. He'll be able to detect it more than I can. Because he can actually hear things with his stethoscope. So, last night I finished reading, what was I reading? I read Mortal Monarchs, and then I read, which was excellent, this, which is Paranormal Stories by Jamie King, which is okay, I would just like more detail on them, it was, it was okay. I would like more detail on each individual case or instance, especially the ghost ones. Um, I'm going to take some books with me today, I'm going to take potentially three. I'm going to take H.G. Wells, the, the, um... War of the Worlds, uh, Tom Westcott's Bank Holiday Murders, they're quite slim volumes, and then a big chunky tome, if I can find it, because it's buried under a ton of books, by Terry Goodkins, which is Siege of Stone, which is book three in the Sister of Darkness, Nikki Chronicles, I, I bought a second hand library copy, which is fine, it doesn't bother me, as long as I've got the book, that's this one. I think those three should keep me through either being at the doctor's surgery waiting or at the um, hospital waiting, depending if I have to. I will stop, put a stack of books for Paul to bring me if I have to stay in overnight because I won't sleep in hospital. I can't sleep if there's a lot of noise and regardless of how they try hospitals, if you're on a ward, is always no no noisy. Luckily, uh, when I was in last time in Aspa, I was in a side room on my own. Because if I can hear people coughing or sniffing or mumbling, I can't sleep. I'm a very light sleeper. So I am looking for some photos on Facebook for a Marilyn TikTok I want to do. I've got three or four I'm going to do. Definitely three. Three. Three today that I'm going to do. And I am really grateful that I have 40 gig of data on my phone. I mean, I could connect it to the hospital Wi-Fi. But I don't think I will. Uh, hang on, that might be where I want it. Um, might not be. It might not be the right set of photos. Uh, don't think so. I'm looking for a photo of a particular grave. Uh, no, that's not going to be in that one. It was uploaded at the time of Marilyn's thing. What's it? A memorial in August, so they'll be here somewhere. I'm looking for them now. There's that one. 
that you can't really see what I want, but I'll save it to be on the safe side. I'm just looking for them now. Um, just so I can do some TikToks that I've, I've had a couple planned for a while. And I... Because I've been ill, I haven't been doing them. It might have to be that one, even though you can't really see the grave I'm looking for. You can see it, but not very well. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to dry my hair, brush it, and then I will I might do one of these TikToks. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I am now just waiting to go to the doctor's. It's not that late yet. It's about half past one. Yeah, just gone half past one. So I am just chilling. I've got pretty much all my stuff together that I need to go to the doctor's. And if I end up at the Gwent, at the medical assessments unit which is most likely what will happen if I have to go to the hospital which will be a lot of sitting around doing bugger all I know this because I remember when my dad had to go there he was there for, and he was very ill um, you have to have to wait until they can see you but it is a place where they'll assess whether or not you need admittance um, and if not they send you home after a little bit of treatment so it might be they'll put me on the nebulizer and send me home I just have to wait and see However, on the, uh, on the um, off chance that I am admitted, I do have a bag ready for Paul to bring me um, to the hospital. Hopefully I won't need to stay in. Uh, it's just a flaming nuisance. I feel alright myself. It's just the wheeze when I do get it. I'm at the moment the wheeze, no wheezing. No coughing. I feel fine. My heart rate's up a bit. I think that's what he's more worried about than anything else. My heart rate's up, but... Uh, very tired as well. If I do get to go home, I'm going to go sleep on the sofa. I have had, I have said to Paul that if I am admitted, or if I do have to go to the hospital, because I'll be there most of the evening, I would imagine, if he could just treat Jennifer to a McDonald's to cheer her up a bit, because she's going to be besides herself. I tried to explain to her what was going on uh, yesterday uh, when we when she got home from school. And she cried. She doesn't want mummy to go. But I'd be alright. I'm not going to die or anything. I'm going to be fine. But hey, I'm just going to chill out for a bit, read my book. I'm trying to re-edit. I'm trying to edit together the, the vlog from last week. I did put it on to convert. And because I'm not sitting there watching it, it goes really, really slow and it gets slower and slower and slower. So it's tried, been trying to do it for like three days. Well, since Monday. That's four days today. That's not happened. So I've got it up and I'm going to keep an eye on it while I'm here and see if I can get it to do it before I go. Uh, there's no guarantee though. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. So it's Thursday night and as you can see I'm at home. Yeah. With my baby. Not in hospital. So very happy. I missed you, mummy. Uh, I miss you, baby. So yeah, I am home. Doctor was very pleased. Said um, it is clearing up and I've just got to do my meds and I've left my inhaler pump downstairs. I'm going to get that. I will get it. It's the one with the mask on it, Jen, all right? You need the whole thing with the, the inhaler and the pump and the mask, okay? And yeah, so I've been reading the Bank Holiday Murders. I put up nine Marilyn TikToks today. And I've got another one, well, ten actually, because I put up a silly one for Paul, just to show him how to do it. And I've got um, another one to do tomorrow. So that's all good. I'm just going to get into my... I left my spacer and inhaler down there. Hang on, I won't be a sec. Good morning, it's Friday. I'm feeling all right, not too bad. I'm about to do my oops, next dose of um, Ventolin, which I still have to do. Instead of six puffs, it's four puffs, just to get it down, to, you know, a bit at a time. Uh, I'm gonna watch Coloropoly, so that's uh, chronic coloring down under. That's her video. She just put it up. See if I can find it there. No, I can't find it there. Let's go back there. Go into subscriptions. See what prompts I've got for October. There we are. Um, it is also my parents' anniversary. I'm supposed to go out for dinner, so I'll take it easy all day to make sure I'm alright. I've got a few TikToks I want to do. I do want to do a book video later on this afternoon. Oh, I'm so tired. I have been asleep most of the morning, I'm not gonna lie. So when I watch Coloropoly, I've got my Marilyn scrapbook somewhere. I brought it up, oh, it's just here. Here, because I'm so far behind doing my Marilyn scrapbooks, I'm on 2010, that I thought, 
I've got another one of those. So while I'm ill and I'm resting in bed today, Monday and Tuesday, before I go back to work on Wednesday, fingers crossed, as long as everything's all right, I thought I'd, I'd sit in bed and do a little bit of scrapbooking with my Marilyn collection stuff. That's always fun. And I've got some clippings I need to sort out as well. So I will get the pile of clipping folders out and sort them out too. So I'm going to do that now. So Colouropoly first uh, while I'm filling it in. Oh yes, because I finished this last night at the bank holiday mode just because I didn't sleep. Couldn't sleep for a while, that's why I was so tired this morning. So It's a good book. It's a four star read. Um, background onto the first few um, Whitechapel murders before the ones that we know as the canonical five happened. Uh, there were two women who were murdered quite violently, Emma Smith and Martha Tabron. Um, were they ripper victims or not? Um, most people say no, but Tom Westcott makes a compelling case that they may well have been the start of his crimes. I've, I've always felt that Tabron possibly was, um, because of the, the, the amount of damage done to her body. She was stabbed 29 times. He did try to open her up. He spread her legs the way he did with the other girls and, and cut her clothes open so we, so we could get to those areas but for whatever reason didn't maybe he was disturbed again you just don't know I've always thought he was and that what happened afterwards was him escalating but the, yeah, as some killers do but that's just me um I'm just one voice but uh, yeah I'm gonna go and get that sorted now and I'll see you in a bit bye so I am watching Coloropoly and it's gonna be my turn now so I'm gonna have to go in a minute but this is the stuff I haven't sorted out that's been building up and I have another envelope of stuff that arrived this year from my friend in London. I call him my friend. He always sends me a Christmas card as well. Um, and I've got some stuff here from the 70s, which is unusual. 60s is very unusual. 70s was still quite a quiet um, decade for Marilyn, and it all snowballed in the 80s. But I've got stuff from the 70s right up to 2019. I've put it into decades. So I'm going to sort out this lot and get it into folders. And then... I'm going to do the stuff I got this year, but I've got to go. I've got my four prompts, which is food, pumpkins, spring, and draw and colour a bowl of fruit. That'll be fun because I'm not a very good drawer at all, but I will have a go. <coughs> Excuse me. I have sorted out the 80s, which is a good pile of stuff here. Some of it I've already got, and I'm going to pop it into this um, folder, which is my 80s folder. And then later on, when I've sorted it all out, including the other envelope, I'm going to put it all into the, purp the, the orange file, purple file. Uh, which holds everything that I haven't put into my boxes and I'm going to get my boxes down not today but sometime next week and put them in. I did find a nice uh, poster of Jump for Blondes which I can get framed which would be lovely. Hello, oh it's hard work. I can't let it get like this again I say that every time but there you go anyway so I'm watching another video now because I've got my prompts and I am gonna get a drink in a minute because I'm facing like a glass of lemonade. I'm gonna get this lot popped in so I'll see you in a bit. So Paul's picking up Jennifer, he should be pretty much on his way down there by now. I'm knackered or not if not on his way very soon. I have sorted out all the clippings. I think there's two, a couple of magazines on the floor with her in from this year, which is fine. But everything is up to date. It's only because they're buried under books and I need to sort it out terribly. It's a right mess. Right, so, my scrapbook. Oh. It looks like I started to do something and then finished. Because there's a gap there. There's nothing there. How very odd. Oh, I think it, I put it in there by accident and then I've, I've put it in the right place. Yes, I would have. I don't know why I'm there. Weird. So I've got three or four pages left. One, two, three, four pages left in a bit to do I'm in this folder. But I do have another one. So I'll just show you it so far. So. Oh, oh, I don't know what that was. So I always put a photo of Marilyn at the start. So this is how old it is. Very, very old. And all of the pages, like I'm not even focusing. Come on, focus. I hate when it does that. It's on the right settings. And then um, I purchased Girl Power, and this was one of the bigger color by This was when the book about Miller and that came out. Um, 
Um, but so I yeah, it's not looking, it's not focusing very well, sadly. I have already done a page in it, Susie? and I am in love. Um, I just think like some of these, I mean, honestly, all of these images. This are is so old. The ladies, obviously, in these. It's so weird that I, I haven't. Everything like that are perfect. So, Got this. I do put them in sideways if I can now. <coughs> I'm still coughing. But sounds like it's absolutely yeah, hammering it's down the really rain. One. Um, always, I actually in every single okay, video, that's below, about it. My, um, dog. Where I, buy these books, like I don't know what number this is, but it's probably about um, thirty or something. I don't know. I, I haven't got numbers on side. I'll have to find out. And I've still got some of 2010 stuff in here. And what happens if I can get this finished really quickly, or fairly quickly, this will then become a folder for 2023. So I've got a lot of folders, as you can tell, because I've got one for every year. Every year is split. So I've got three folders here. I've got 11, uh, 10, 11, and 12, 12 being the biggest. And I'm going to have a quick look. Hey, everybody, it is Saturday. Lunch time, isn't it, babe? Jennifer's all cuddled up under the warm blanket. Yeah. Because we went to Magnet Kitchens and she was sick on the way back, weren't you? Don't like the car, do you? Long journeys. So I'll snuggled up now. You feel better now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so snuggled. So snuggled, yeah, under the heated blanket. So we've, we've decided on our kitchen, put deposit down on it, so it'll be all nice when we get it. Um, just got David in now to start the bathroom. I'm really tired because that really took it out of me going out like that. Last night and then boy, I'm going to have some lunch when Paul gets back. He's just gone down the road to get some lunch. And then I've got washing to put away. I'm a bit tidying up. Oh, how tired my eyes are. Oh. Just tired. Just so sitting here colouring in a colour by number book for a minute while I uh, patter about with my late baby little girl. So cute. And she's watching Ryan's World. Somehow I managed to be subscribed to Ryan's World. Was that you? <coughs> oh, you're right. You gorgeous. <laughs> so cute. Hey everyone, I'm currently, you can hear Jennifer moving and tidying up the bedroom. Um, I'm just having a little break to film my book haul for last month, finally. It's late. And then my reading wrap-up. I'm really sweaty, so I do apologise if I look a bit manky. I am. But yeah, so I am going to get on with that. If you have a look, the bed is covered in colouring supplies, bits and pieces that I want to film. It looks a mess, but it's not. It's, it's ordered mess, so I'm going to crack on with that. And when I've done my book haul and my reading wrap-up and I've put the books where they need to go, you'll see how much tidier the bed is then. Whew, it's hard work today. Going to Magnet Kitchens knackered me, but the kitchen we picked really nice. Okay, so I've filmed my haul and my wrap-up video. I'm now going to film a flip through of Worlds of Wonder, which was here a minute ago. Oh, it's under here. It's actually under the thing I used to put it on. And then I'm going to do a swatchy video of these art markers. The acrylic ones, to see what they're like, because I haven't used them yet. And then I'll put that lot away and we'll see how we're doing. So far the bed is getting clearer, I'll show you. There we go. So this is the thing I'll be doing the flip throughs on, there's the book, there's my swatch chart, there's the pens. Oh, excuse the noise, there of course is my remote. And this is stuff that's just got to go away, it's my laptop, my makeup. It's another Marilyn Funko Pop, I've got the colour version on this one, I'm just... Uh, I save stuff together and then when I've got three or four items, I do a TikTok on them. My inhaler, which I'll be doing in a minute. Some more markers, they just got to go away. And some notebooks. This is going to be my colouring journal for 2023. I didn't do one this year, but I thought I would. So as you can see so far, I've got some colouring book covers. I will do some more. It's just when I get to need to um, do my... This was yellow... Um, book covers for my journal. Um, if I'm a bit short, I'll just pull up a few more just to put in. Um, there we go. So, get on with that now. Hey guys, so I've done my filming. I filmed my book haul flips. Uh, hang on.
Hey everybody, I have just been, I finished my filming, my book haul, my reading wrap up, my flip through and first impressions. I am trying to order some stuff off of the works website, um, some of which is for Jennifer's Christmas, for her stocking, because obviously you can't buy it in the shop. And it's quite a sizable order, it's like 60 quid, not just her, I've bought some stuff for me too because um, I'm naughty, but I've got the money put aside for this. But, you know, some paints, pens, some smashems, she little tiny ones, like a pet pig one and a Ryan's World one. She likes all that sort of stuff, so I, I'm, it's just not doing it. It's driving me up a wall. I'm trying to do this. And it, it, the internet keeps timing out, and I don't know what's going on. It's fine. I'm just getting really tired now. Up oh, here we go. Was at that point. Oh, I've done this once. <sighs> Getting annoyed. Very, very annoyed. That's uh, updated. Place order. So I'm paying £2 to get it um, tomorrow. So I had £2 on my rewards card, so I thought, fair enough. Uh, I'm just so tired. So, so tired. I haven't read today. I didn't read yesterday. Um, but I've got to tidy up a bit, put some stuff away, and then I'm going to start reading uh, The World of the Worlds, I think. So, when I get it, I will do a little unboxing for you to see. It's coming. I don't know whether it's ordered it or not. No, it hasn't. What is going on? I was either using the Arteza Everblend markers or the shuttle. It's next day delivery, so it should come tomorrow. Those are the ones I have. Um, your details are correct. Let's try it through PayPal instead of paying by card. Yeah, is this my looking kitty? I don't know what's going on with the internet. I'll probably end up with it ten times after a turn out. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this sorted out so I can do something else I want to get doing today. Hey guys, it's evening. See, I've tried to comb my hair. I'm not very good at this because I don't do it often enough. And because I part my hair this side, I always end up with hardly anything this side and tons that side. I thought I'd give it a go and, you know, practice. I'll just try again. If it doesn't work, that's the whole point of it, isn't it? We practice makes perfect. So this side feels quite good. The top's a bit needs to be done layered properly and I'm not very good at that. So, like I said, this is just a practice. They're foam rollers, so I should be able to lie down in them. This side, like I said, there's not as much on it. <laughs> I'm going to look actually... Um, Bold that side probably. But I'll just give it a go, see what happens. Got a big one in the front to make a good wave. Put a bit of spray on it just to try and hold it in at night. And we'll see what happens tomorrow when I take them out. It's only practice, like I said. I brush most of it out, my hair's wavy anyway, so nobody will tell. Jennifer's watching a bit of TV, I'm doing a bit of colouring with my acrylic markers and playing a game. Zed's wandering around, and Paul's in bed. So I have started reading more of the worlds, and in a minute I'm going to lie down and read a bit more. See you in the morning. See how bad I look. It's Sunday afternoon, as you can see I've got a slight curl in my hair, obviously it's come down, I had a beautiful little wave. We've done football and shopping, been to Grandad's. I got the new Relax With Art, well, it's not that new but it's been out a while but I hope to pick it up when I get there. I bought the Jennifer the Colour in Heaven collection dinosaur one. I'm going to go and colour in that and I've, I got myself these watercolours from Riddles. So there's uh, 24 colours. 18 mil tubes. There's even a skin tone in there, a, a Caucasian skin tone, I will say. Um, so I'll try them at some point, I don't know when. And uh, yeah, we're going to go down and colour in the dinosaur book. I'm going to have a drink. Uh, a little bit tired. Got some TikToks to make a bit later on. Um, but right now I said I'd go and colour with Jen, so that's my first job colour with Jen. I still forgot to buy an extension cable. Okay. I'll have to have a look at that another time. Forgot about that. So it's Sunday night and we're in bed. Jennifer's watching a bit of TV but she's going to sleep very soon, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, and I'm tired. So I'm just reading a little bit of War of the Worlds. Not a huge amount. I do love this cover. I think it's just a lovely cover. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit of this. I'm enjoying it very much. It's very good. And yeah. Two more days then back to work. <sighs> I love my job really but it's not, you know. I've been so ill. It's, uh... Anyway, that's it for the weekly vlog this week. We'll do it all again next week. Bye.